Hello and welcome to a new video. This is the startup of AFC Ashurst, where we uh, build our own team, chuck it in the National League South, and see how it's do. See how it does. Uh, this is the team that I've managed to build. Uh, so bear with me a minute as we just go through all the players individually. In goal, Alex Cole. We bought him. He's a ex-local lad. He was from AFC Totten and used to play in Southampton's academy. Uh, good little signing. Been getting quite good. Uh, we've got Jay Williams in defence alongside Michael Parker and Imran Uche. But also, as you see, we're playing three at the back with defensive wingers in Freddie Grant and Tom Beer doing quite a good job this season. Uh, we've got Coogan in the team at the minute, but it will probably be, where is he? Harry Kite, who's on loan from Exeter in the midfield. He's a bit of a free kicks uh, specialist alongside Michael Phillips. Osborne on the left. Sheriff down the middle, who's had a very good start to this season with three goals and four appearances. And very familiar Phoenix Patterson on the right hand side, um, who was uh, in the previous career I did. Right, let's have a look at our previous games then. So we've, we've had a bit of a, a shaky start, uh, included matches against. Uh, Well, Eastley actually was a good match, to be fair. Um, it went to penalties and extra time, and we lost on penalties. But it was such an open game. Um, and, yeah, we really should have won that match. Uh, with, yeah, against an Eastley side, about mid-table in the, in the division. Sheriff had a brilliant game. Uh, other games, I mean, we've had a poor start to the league. We, first game, lost 3-2 to um, Hemel Hempstead. That was a poor game. Then we went away to Haven and Waterlooville. And then I decided, screw playing Route 1 football. It doesn't work. So we've changed it up. Beating Ebbs Fleet 2-0 at home. That was a good game with a lovely goal from De Costa and a goal from Sheriff. Then we went away to Maidstone. And... Uh, Got quite unlucky, to be honest. We should have won that game. And a can, a can be, I think that's how you say it, scored. Uh, and then, most recently, this match, which was an absolute goal fest. Four goals against Promotion Challengers Dorking United. Now, this is the first from Jay Williams. A terrific header from a free kick, then it, Phoenix Patterson on the right plays a lovely ball into Sheriff, that's two, and that's just the first half, 62 minutes in, there's an own goal, and it's a, quite a fluky own goal, deflection, good work from Sheriff, and then it was a long ball pelted by one of the centre-backs, and Sheriff got his second of the match, and that ended... 4-0 in a in a quite a, in a quite nice way to go back into the mid table spots. Um so yeah we've played five matches already. Uh next up we take on second in the table Concord. Now if you have a look, they have played three home matches, including a four two game against Haven to Waterlooville, losing to Dolwich Hamlet recently. Um but yeah, that's the only loss they've had, and Dulwich Hamlet are third. So yeah, this is going to be a difficult match. We've set up again like we did in the previous match against Dorking. So this is going to be the the live com video. So this is exciting it's a way to uh, to start a, a new chapter. Of course, we previously did a Dulwich Hamlet career, but we could only take them really 
um, to the uh, League One places where we were fighting for promotion, but frustration kicks in and then we can find the finances in the second season to to hold on and try and do something different. Uh, and try and build on the team. We tried three at the back. We tried various other uh, options. And I think that's what I've done here as well. To adapt to the poor start to the season, we've uh, we've ultimately just decided, scratch that, we're going to go another route. And hopefully it's, it's going to work. We do drop to 14th, but I think some teams are playing their other matches uh, to catch up, uh, we'll um, we'll come back relatively soon. I think for a second episode, I'll have a look at the um, the schedule. Uh, with being knocked out of the FA Cup, we've got Eastbourne, Slough, Braintree, and Bath. Um, I think we'll probably come back for that Oxford away match in early December. Uh, so that would be that would be a good game, and then we've got Billericay, Dartford, and then St Albans before we go into the new year. Um, so yeah, it's uh, we've, we've we've done a lot since the actual setup of the um, of the <laughs> I can't even speak. Of the career, right? Let's just have a look to see who we get here in the FA Trophy. In fact, should we just auto? Uh, should we just automate? Uh, continue. I don't. We don't necessarily need to watch it. We've got Tilbury, uh, and that's at home. So that's a good, a good match to to get there with opportunity to get through try and get some latter stages in the competition and get some prize money in it's not particularly important but it would be nice to have a, a competition on the run right here we are then the match getting ready to kick off here then on the 10th of november 2020 against Concord. I so say that's the team we're going to go with. Um, I think I think I'm pretty happy with the side. Um, yeah, I think there's also opportunities to improve. Tom Blair will um, will stick on the bench as well. We've got two strikers on there. Right? I don't understand why. Um, but yeah, we've got, in fact, we'll go give him a new contract. Quickly, he wants a lot of money and we can't afford a lot of money. So, oh jeez, expensive. Finally found a deal that we could agree on. Right. See if the three at the back works against another big team here. Let's hope for a big victory here. Sit back and relax. Kite to Patterson on his right hand side early on, whips it in. Can't quite find Sheriff in the box. Out of the way by Patterson. That's a brilliant save by Cullen, cleared away. But yeah, good start from the home side. Uh, 
with three at the back, it maybe does mean sometimes wingers can get a bit of space. But uh, overall, ten times out, nine times out of ten, it seems to be the best formation at this kind of level. But uh, yeah, Concord starting better here than we are. Carl with a goal kick. He's gone over the top. It's found Sheriff. That's a big chance. Big chance to make it one now. Spasov. And now he comes. Concord. At the other end. Is that, are we going to regret not scoring there? They get a goal, but it's been disallowed. I don't know entirely why, but I think there was a player offside in the build up. Cole lobs another one forward, looking for Phillips. Here's Kite to Beer. He's trying to look for the through ball. Or if it's a bit laggy, it's not entirely uh, the cleanest run, and that's a good save by Carl. Here comes Sheriff, that's a great touch from the striker. Into Phillips, plays in Grant, and that's going to go all the way through to Hay. Be a good game to get points in. Um, potentially not going to risk it in this one. I think it's one of those matches that get taking a point is probably better at the end of the day than risking it and losing out on points. But we have started very well here. We should have really be. We should really be leading. Three Sheriff. But this setup, I think, just allows us to extract the best we can of playing a fluid counter attack style of football. We started well to second half here. We've have it having a lot of attempts on goal. No shot on target yet. Height to Osborne to Sheriff, and that's another chance turned away by the goalkeeper. We started really brightly to the second half, and it's cleared away. Patterson picks it up, and it's the end of the highlight. Kite free kick. And uh, he doesn't have another one to add to his collection. Oh, it's one well, well won by Sheriff. And here he comes. Big chance. Can't quite get a shot on goal. Bridge to Spasov. That's good defending by Williams. Here's Carl to Williams. And now to UK. Phillips in the midfield. Playing some nice football. Here's Kite. Look for the through ball now. Osborne. It's a penalty. We have been threatening it. And I think Popo is going to be sent off here as well to add to the woes of Concord. And now it's a chance for the top goal scorer, Sheriff, to put us in the lead. And it's 1-0 to AFC Ashurst. Away from home. We've started very well to the second half. 
And we've got our reward. Here's Kite with a free kick. Oh, what a goal. Harry Kite from a distance. And from the matter of being nil-nil to two-nil within the space of a few minutes. And that's another good free kick from the man on loan from Exeter. What is his free kicks, actually? Let's have a quick look. I haven't actually studied him. Uh, free kick taking is 11, to be fair. Yeah, he is a very, very accomplished free kick taker. But this is a good way to start the first live episode. Absolutely excellent. Osborne to Grant. This team have only lost one game all season. And here's Sheriff and that three. What a start to this. I mean, it's not even the start of the second half now. It is flown by Sheriff on form again. And that's more like it. Here comes Kite forward. Grant to Osborne. Back to Grant. And here's Osborne. And that's 4 0. Sam Osborne on the goal scoring sheet. Brilliant, brilliant second half. I, I haven't even scripted this. This is legit. We are playing some brilliant football in this match. They do get one back through Jack Bridge at the end. But what a performance. It's Osborne again, oh, and he can't get a second. It's blocked. And the top of the table clash between Oxford and Dulwich Hamlet is uh, Oxford's at the minute. Here's Kite, he goes long trying to feed the pace of Sheriff. Got 12 pace, which in this Division is absolutely ridiculous, especially for a striker as well. Here's beer, and that's full time, and that is perfection. We go up the table to 11th again, and uh, Concord drop to fifth. It's a brilliant performance. And uh, yeah, that is exactly what we need. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, the first episode, hopefully of many to come, of the rise of AFC Ashford. Ashford Ashurst. See you for, for the next episode where we will be taking on probably Oxford's Oxford City in that one and we will go over the the previous results thank you for watching